morning to all of you. Uh, so happy to see such a phenomenal response. I think this is the biggest conclave we've had in our history of 10 years. And all these years we were uh, falling short of a venue which could accommodate more than 1,000 people. And I'm happy to say that we have something like 1,300, 1,400 acceptances. At any particular point of time during the day, we will at least have 1,000 people in this audience. So thank you again. And I started Ascent as announced earlier 10 years back. It was my way of giving something back to the society. I knew that entrepreneurs play the most important role in driving growth and adding value to all the stakeholders. And when I'm talking of the stakeholders, I mean, of course, the owners. But more than that, they also add a lot of value to their customers in offerings which are not available or something unique. They add value to their own employees, their associates, and of course the society. And this five trillion Indian economy vision can only be driven by entrepreneurs. You know, the government's role is going to be limited. Of course, they will invest in infrastructure and other policy making which will help entrepreneurs thrive. But the majority or the most of the contribution is likely to come from entrepreneurs. And I think that's why I decided to back this cause of entrepreneurship. Because in my own journey, I realized that you may have a good idea. Uh, it may click when it's small, but the journey of taking it from small to medium to large, it has to change the role of the entrepreneurs. So from doing things to getting things done to influencing others is in short the journey of entrepreneurship. And uh, initially when we started 10 years back, we toyed around with different options. We felt that we should uh, also address startups, but uh, realized that startups have their own set of challenges because the business model is not proven. And uh, most of the startups are very, very busy just fine tuning their business model. So in essence, what we decided to pursue was to go beyond the stage of startups and help companies or organizations which had a certain proven concept in terms of the business and adding value to them through what we call peer networks, uh, seminars, conclaves, mentoring, coaching, and many other things. And I must say that over 10 years we have done well. Uh, we have got 850 members, but I think now we have a very strong uh, base in terms of our own experience. We have learned a lot in this journey. And I'm happy to say that we have an advisory board, which we constituted about six, eight months back. And they have been playing a very important role in driving Ascent's growth journey. I just want to announce some of them are here, but uh, our advisory board consists of Namita Thapar, who's going to be speaking today afternoon. She's from Empure Pharma, she's a shark. We have Ram Shroff, who's here. We have Kunal Shroff from, Ram is from Charak Pharma. Kunal Shroff is managing partner at Chris Capital. Then Rohan Mirchandani, who is running this Epigamia brand of uh, uh, probiotics. We have Nadia Chauhan from Parley Agro. And finally, my daughter-in-law, Priyanjali Mariwala, who is also running Equacentric, my new business initiative in Bombay. So I think with their help, we had a visioning workshop about, about one and a half months back. And we said, what can we do in the next 10 years? And broadly, we said, can we aspire for much more? We constituted three groups to improve our Ascent's offerings. And all these groups are going to come back to the Ascent team within a week or so, uh, giving their suggestions on how can we scale up much higher. But I, for one, am looking at a much, much larger number. From 850, can we be 5,000 entrepreneurs over a period of time? Currently, the cumulative turnover of all Ascent members is 52,000 crores. Can we, over a period of time, go to a level of 5 lakh crores uh, with 5,000 entrepreneurs? So these are the kind of uh, aspirations we have and I strongly feel that we have a strong team here. We have the necessary building blocks. We have a governing council also 
uh, comprised of ascent members and the advisory board and all this is helping us in terms of taking this ascent journey to a greater height. The theme of the conference is thriving on change and all of you will agree that disruptions today are occurring much at a much faster pace than what we had seen, at least I've seen in my own journey. Nobody could have predicted what would happen because of COVID or the war. And the kind of technologies which are emerging, I think this is going to be the biggest disruptor, if you ask me, in the next few years. So there are two ways of looking at disruptions. One is to say that it will impact me negatively. It's a threat to me. The other is to say I will participate in these disruptions and make opportunities out of the disruptions. You know, my business, which is Marico's business, is in branded consumer goods. All this time, we were perceived to be a very defensive product business, very difficult to get into FMCG because you require a big distribution network. Um, you have to cater to lakhs of outlets. You have to advertise on television and press, which requires big advertising budgets. But in the last two, three years, the disruptions have happened because of digital uh, e-commerce places, digital marketing. And we've seen an emergence of so many D2C brands which have emerged. And to that extent, it could be a threat to FMCG companies. And for Marico, we said, can we participate in these disruptions? So we have, in the last two years, acquired three D2C brands, Beardo, Just Herbs, and of recent uh, True Elements. And we also have launched our own D2C brands, but you have to manage these disruptions by removing escape buttons. So these disruptions are kept at a different location, not combined with, with the traditional FMCG approach of managing these businesses. And uh, they seem to be doing very well. Beardo has already crossed, I think we are expected about 140 crores turnover this year. And at some stage, we will try and combine the strength of these products by distributing them through our traditional network of distribution. So, Today, we are going to hear excellent speakers talking of disruptions. Our the first speaker for today is already here, Boman Irani. He is himself has disrupted many times. And we are looking to hear his story. And thank you, Boman, for coming here. I would just like to end by saying that uh, we have had delegates coming in from all over the country. We have delegates coming from Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, Calcutta, Delhi and many other cities. We also have our sponsors and some of them have come from Dubai and many other sponsors. So thank you for sponsoring this event. And let me just end by thanking the Ascent team for, for organizing this. So we have Archana Das who is heading Ascent. She's here, Shravana Reddy, Pankti Shah, Ruchika Sarda and Anut Singh. So with that, I, I would welcome all of you and uh, we'll wait for the for the MC to, to take this forward. So have a good day. Thank you very much.